All right, guys, well, I'm going to do a quick uh, warm up with the Torpedo, and I just got the Gladius. These are both from Remix, and I've thrown the Torpedo a lot like a Mustang, and the Gladius is supposed to be a, a little bit straighter. So I'm gonna just going to throw a couple, and then I'm going to do a one disc round, just run around Inverness. It's my lunchtime. We can go have some fun. So this is the Torpedo. Nice and straight with a little fade. Of course, I didn't warm up at all. So this should be a little straighter. <laughs> well, not if you throw it like a goober. I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully I'll do a better throw. Straight with a little fade. All right, good throw here, Pete. I keep dropping my shoulder on that one. I'm not doing a very good representation. All right, so the numbers are five, five minus half and one, I believe. So it should be less stable than this, but I feel like in the glow, it might be a little more stable. All right, well, I'm burning my, uh, my lunch hour time, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and go. I think it's a little more stable than this, which I was hoping it was a little more understable, but you get what you get, so let's go out. All right, well, I got this gang of thieves watching me over here. Uh, say hey to the camera. Hello, how are you? Quick names, quick names. John. Matt Adams. Jake Reynolds. All right, they're just watching me. I'm playing a catch up of a couple holes here. You've seen the front or whatever I've done, and so this is just some makeup stuff. Uh, that music will probably get me banned, but other than that, we're good to go. I'm gonna throw. See, that's not a, that's not a minus five, minus 0.51. <laughs> that's, that's like a three. Yeah, it does have pretty good glide, but it just, it immediately wants to start fighting. All right, guys. So the disc is overstable, so I've learned to play to this basket and then have a safer shot to the other basket. I'm not gonna put this down for this first shot. <laughs> She's a stable. Put that on enough Anheuser to fight it down there, and it's just pulling over. Oh, it does have a little extra glide to it, pushing a little long. Right there, Ooh, catching it on the old tree. All right, let's reset. I'm going to throw a backhand on this one, but let's try the forehand. Alright. So I got to work on bringing my arm out farther. On my back, back swing, my pull, on my forehand. I'm trying to work on that a little bit. I do like the extra stability it allows me to float it up and let it kind of plop in so that's nice but I wish it was a little more understable because I like understable more so basically I was hoping this was going to be in between the creature which is like the uplink and the uh, torpedo that's like the Mustang so something that's a little more flippy, but not super flippy, was going to be just right, kind of like the hex. Uh, but this isn't it. This is more like the pyro. I just got to skip all the way down the hill. Huh. Hit something. Maybe figuring it out. Oh, <laughs> thought that was it. Got to work the daylight. We're running out of it quick. Oh, 
I throw it out wide trusting the stability and it barely hung on. <laughs> yeah, I think this disc rates about a 2.5. It's not quite a three, but it's close. It wants to, it wants to hook up and fade pretty good. Now guys, I'm not a disc whisperer, know all the shapes, sizes, oh, this is a so-and-so. Uh, but I have read some places where some discs have been misstamped, and this may be one of those cases, so I don't know. I'll try to compare it, but uh, don't listen to me. I can't even keep the camera on me. Don't even listen to me about all that. I'm kind of detail-ish, but I'm not an engineer. I'm more of an artist. I kind of just, eh, what works? Ooh. Oh, Pete, when I don't commit, I constantly hit the base. I need to just give it a little more pop, just a little more commitment. Hate missing those. All right, moving on. This is not gonna be great, but I'm gonna try forehand. I'm try not to hurt myself. Okay, a little wobble, 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 and a little short. <laughs> That's where knowing the ground and the ground play here comes in handy. You want to aim for that little tree right there, and everything will filter right to the basket. <laughs> So here's a question, leave in the comments. How much field work and training do you do on your game? How much do you work on specific shots or working on a specific thing? Besides putting, you know, everybody defaults to putting. And let's face it, if we're really honest, some of us do a really good job of that, but a lot of us play at putting. So my question is, how much time are you working on your game? And the question also to go with that is, well, what is your goal in disc golf? Is it just to have fun or is it to improve? If it is to improve, then what tangible steps and goals are you trying to reach? Anyway, that's a lot to put that all in one comment, but something to kick around. Oh, that was gonna be close. It was running two inches to the left and it, it might've drawn metal. Oh yeah, but I forgot I'm going for the yellow basket, which I'd throw the same throw for either one of them, so that's okay. So here's the thing, I hit the tree up there, hit the hill and curled down. I'm just happy it stopped here. So often it'll just carry on down into the jungle. What makes this shot so tricky is the elevation and the angle of your footing. Ideally, I like to throw a forehand just so I don't have to worry about trying to get my weight transfer into it. That's where I need a little more stability. I gave it too much credit. Can tell somebody's been gracious enough to knock down all these bushes. Guys, if you're in the, the bushes, your job is not to tear up the bushes to get back here. You wanna enter with as little disturbance as possible. I know these things are frustrating, but don't tear them out because you affect the next person's game. I mean, it's benefiting me here now, but it doesn't benefit the course. Remember, you're not the only one on this course. You gotta think for others. Let's not be selfish. Just a bit inside. That would have been okay. <laughs> hey, say it, I wasn't even thinking about my throw. I was thinking about an interaction at work today. And uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just lose focus. I know that probably never happens to y'all, but it's a battle just to stay on target. Just over the top. I thought I got it. <laughs> it was going. It was going to get there. To be honest, I knew how to throw that. Throw that. I knew how to throw that. <laughs> because of my uh, testing out 
stability for overhands. I knew that was going to hold it longer. If you haven't checked out that video, it just dropped today as I'm filming, but on Thursday. Make sure to check it out. Like and subscribe. I'm whispering at the basket as it gently goes by. Now please sit once you get up there. I'm Matt Lloyd. I drove all the way from Arkansas to come get some wooded disc golf at Inverness. Come on out, play, and enjoy yourself. Man, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, I'm Pete. I'm Matt Lloyd. Matt, good to see yeah, you. Yeah, I own the How Dynamic Disc Store in Fayetteville. Okay. This would be a test because I need it to push more than Heiser. Nope. All right, hit and roll back to the right. Oh, hit a tree and kicked even farther left. It's chunky, guys, and I can't bring myself to flex it. I keep throwing it flat and letting it hides are too hard. I could try the back door. I just don't have the arm for it. Take my lumps, don't try to do too much. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I, I haven't done anything, but that was just a, a sweet throw in. As a matter of fact, I've got a video where I just sit there and practice that shot. So that's kind of where I had a little comfort on that. Anyway, I talked too much, let's keep going. All because of my practicing the overhands, I knew what that disc was gonna do. Check out my video if you haven't seen it. I think I already said that once, but uh, it's paying off for me, so hey, maybe it'll pay off for you too. So I'm definitely feeling a lot better after work than at lunchtime. I was a little stressed out at lunchtime, so uh, I'm feeling a lot more calm right now, and I think my game's showing it. Sit down, sit down. I get a good run, but the glide on that, it carries farther than you think. I knew it as soon as I let it go. I hadn't given it quite enough. I liked the line, but I needed a little more air. That tomahawk hurt my arm. I need to definitely warm up before I throw those guys. Yep. Kind of fluffed that one a little and started giving it a full swing. Tried to steer it versus throw it. All right. This is going to be a touchy one. And this hole has wrecked more rounds with just a hit the hill and roll away into the water than I can count. So let's, let's hope that doesn't happen now. Now, please fight back, please fight back, please fight back. Didn't fight back, splash. I can't, I, I threw it how I thought it would go. It just held. That's that downhill. Yeah, I understand why it did what it did, but I really thought it was gonna break harder than it did. Poop. So I know you couldn't see it on the camera, but it came in. Clip this tree hopped up right into the water. Hope I can find it. That put the end to the one disc round. What's funny is I just gave away one of my quick sticks to Jake, <laughs> who was on hole one. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, oh, deep hole. So much for dry pants. Guys, this water is freezing. Oh, 
Holy cow! It may be sunny out there, but oh my lord, my legs got frozen that quick. I mean, that painful, what are you doing? Get out, get out now. I'm just glad I saw that. I was about to bail out when I saw the glow. That'll wake you up. I lost my thyroid to cancer, and so I'm pretty temperature, uh, I don't regulate temperature real well. I get cold more than anything. Poop. So I've probably pulled out over 50 discs out of that water. That was the coldest. Because usually I'm not dumb enough to go in there in February. That's a 50-50 whether it'll cut back towards the basket or roll to 18T. Building my collection of found objects. Now if I can just find my disc. <laughs> of course I hit the one little skinny tree. There you go. All right, fun little finish up. Definitely felt better after lunch, coming back after work. Huh. Yeah, so really a much more overstable than it should be. Uh, not the worst thing in the world, but uh, yeah, not what I expected. So anyway, thanks for coming along. I'll see you later.